Thank you. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to speak with you this morning. I wish to appeal not only to those present within this chamber today, but to my nation. We are here to discuss infanticide. I am greatly troubled that this hearing is even necessary and that such a law to prevent infanticide must be constructed in the United States of America at all. Many Americans have no idea that babies can even live through abortions and are often left to die. But this does happen. I know this because I was born alive <laughs> in an abortion clinic after being burned in my mother's womb for 18 hours. My medical records clearly state the following. Born during saline abortion, April 6, 1977, 6 a.m., two and a half pounds. Triumphantly, I entered this world. <laughs> I added that part. <laughs> Apart from Jesus himself, the only reason I am alive is the fact that the abortionist had not yet arrived at work that morning. Had he been there, he would have ended my life by strangulation, suffocation, or simply leaving me there to die. Instead, I lived and have the gift of cerebral palsy. As a direct result of lack of oxygen to my brain while surviving an abortion. And cerebral palsy, make no mistake, is a tremendous gift. I don't know if any of you understand, maybe you do, what a tremendous honor it is to have to lean on the strong arm of Jesus all the way to heaven. It is my honor in a country that doesn't wish to speak his name. I will. So by the grace of God, in my case, a nurse called an ambulance and had me transferred to a hospital. That nurse saved my life, and I am profoundly grateful to her for this. Those who wish to justify such unspeakable evil, such as leaving a baby without proper medical care to die, have become masters of the manipulation of language, intimidation, and defaming their opponents to achieve their wicked aims. As a nation, we are continuously exchanging the truth for a lie. We have neglected our soul. And what will it take for us to awaken from our numbness and indifference regarding this? Will we ever awake? I am confounded as well by the passivity so often demonstrated by otherwise good and just men, by the fact that we must plead with those in power to give the most vulnerable infants among us even one moment of their attention. This is a bipartisan issue, and I think it is important for the American people to weigh at this hour whether or not they wish to elect someone to the highest office in the land that favors infanticide, because that is what we are speaking of here. A child, exactly as I was, that had the audacity to live through her mother's abortion and needed immediate and proper care. So I would like to ask Mr. Trump to tell me, and you, where he specifically stands on this issue, and I would ask the same of Mrs. Clinton. I would also ask Senator Mitch McConnell to force a vote on the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act before the end of this September. I have faced the consequences of our choices as a nation, as evidenced by my cerebral palsy. So if you choose to do nothing, I believe I at least deserve to know why you find this abhorrent practice tolerable. And I would respectfully, respectfully ask that you tell me directly. It seems in some ways we have lost our way in this beautiful nation, but it needn't be so. We have only to remember the, that we are lent each breath 
that we are all engraved upon the hands of God and therefore cannot for one single moment be forgotten by him. We need only to remember Jesus who took me from my mother's womb to be his own. Thank you. <laughs>